let's take the last 100 years, and more importantly, the last 140 years since the advent of the Industrial Revolution. We went from 1 billion people in the workforce to roughly 5 billion in the people in the, in the workforce. Are we likely to see that over the next few centuries? Absolutely not. So everybody goes, I want a long data set. So they show you 100 years of returns, and we pick apart that data, and we try to like create a portfolio around that data, when that is literally one data point. And so hold no on, data. let me finish. No let data. me finish. It's, it's no Human data in there. So two reasons. I, I think this is the difference. Maybe the, uh, you know, we, we, we all violently agree, let's be honest. But like yeah. this slight nuance is like, to me, it's like, I want to build the world's least shitty portfolio. I don't need data to do that. If I hold all the world's asset classes and I rebalance frequently, I'm going to hopefully do less shitty than everybody else over the long term. And yes, even rebalancing is a choice. And maybe there's data to that to shout out to Corey with uh, rebalancing luck. But no, that's no, no, what no. we're about. So just be careful. I thought you were going to say rebalancing premium. That's not trigger. No, him. no, no, no. I don't want to trigger Corey on that. Premium, please. But part of that, like, and, and to be very put to put a specific point on it. This was the, the question I was thinking about for Adam on my walk this morning. You know, there's nothing I hate more than somebody that comes on stage at like one of these financial conferences. And all they talk about is you know, uh, CPI, the basket's a piece of shit. Like there's no way to trust CPI. And then the next thing they start talking about is real rates. And I'm like, wait, what did, what did you subtract from? You subtract from well, yeah, CPI. Exactly. Yeah, well, <laughs> right, right. And then, so as you know, it's like, we start, we're in this conversation, we're talking about inflation is like seventies, like forties and people will back test CPI for a hundred years. But as you know, the basket for CPI has changed dramatically just, every absolutely. decade of what we use for inputs. To it, so adjust, if that's your, not just to the basket, yeah. but to the calculation methodology. Right. If that's your data set for inflation, hedonics. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about? Okay. Yeah, no, I agree. And, and <laughs> so, I, I, again, right, of course, we all violently agree, right? But just to sort right. of reinforce, the idea behind our, the, the global risk parity core philosophy is let's not rely on historical data. Let's lean into a framework for portfolio resiliency. But are you relying on historical correlations, though? No, no, not if, no, not if you're, you're not if you're I dynamically you're adjusting. About it for, for, the for dynamic adjusting is the dynamic adjusting is using a back a a, 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 a reverse looking measure for adjusting your correlation. So that is using a data set, and like that is using data to figure out how you're going to adjust correlations. So it is a no, but it's a, it's contemporaneous it's a though, right? I mean, yeah, for sure, you've got to sort of make some assumptions about the fact that right. the the correlation or the covariance structure is going to be persistent for for you know so, some time that that, that the recent right. past or the long term average past or whatever look back you're going to use for, for, for portfolio construction is representative but there's also steps that you can take that you know any sensible quant would take to say well we don't want to just just take the the, the exact raw sample covariance right we want to we want to uh, we want to shrink that or make adjustments or whatever to it to to acknowledge the fact that this that the sample is not the population that there's uh potential liquidity events or, or or other types of situations waiting in the wings that could cause correlations to move in a very different way than than what is um revealed from the historical sample like this absolutely the idea here is look the empirical ob observed reality is not the it's not the territory, right? It's the map. But since we don't have any other guide to rely on and we have decisions to make, this is the least bad decision. It's the decision that has the least amount of bias. There's no way to eliminate bias. But this is the decision that eliminates the most bias. Yeah. As We're still father, making assumptions, but it's the, the least number. As my father